all right what's going on welcome to the channel all right quick fsd beta video all right navigation says to be headed in the in the opposite direction but let's see what fsd does all right so we're gonna make a stop at the stop sign here so now it's saying to go left oh look at that the way it switched it up mid-turn and it figured it out all right so we are here in arlington doing a little fsd beta test here so starting off with the speed bump nice job slowing down for it all right so it was able to figure out where i'm trying to go and, and it rerouted itself so next speed bump it did a really good job slowing down for it um, and it's really cool that I was able to start this from the park position completely. So, um, just to try to make it as much of an autonomous drive as possible. All right, take a look at the way it detects the biker coming down the hill. Does a really good job about that. And really impressive on these speed humps here. It's actually lining up the one tire. Um, and uh, yeah, really nice job there. All right, so we're looking to make a left here and we're, we are on Glebe. We're trying to get on Glebe for anyone familiar with the area. We are on 11.4.9, uh, version 12 coming, a couple days here, any day now, I guess. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to get the testing in on this version as much as possible, knowing that once it goes away, it goes away forever um, but of course excited to see the future and what version 12 holds make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading version 12 videos here shortly and testing it out here in the DMV area so yeah here we go looking to make a left at this light as soon as we get a chance light should be changing here what about now And I like the way it detects the light, so as soon as it turns green, the car wastes no time and decides to go. Really nice job making that left turn. Took that perfectly, I want to say. Probably go ahead and turn that AC off. And just like that, it rerouted itself, put me in the right direction on where I need to go, and um, FSD did all the driving in this video since the beginning um, and I'm pretty confident it can take me to my destination without any takeovers but yeah it does a really good job about detecting your surroundings by noticing this car coming up and the guy on the bike there and it takes an account and makes sure it doesn't you know have anything in its way before proceeding um, and it really operates with the safety first mentality as much as possible. But of course, if there's any variables that throw it off, FSD will abort for whatever reason, or I will take over. Um, and yeah, it still happens every once in a while. All right, so looks like we need to go straight. Thankfully, I don't need to make a left here because it looks pretty impossible. And yeah, just like that, you can see FSD doing a really good job about handling the roads here in the Arlington area. Um, pretty much this whole Northern Virginia area um, haven't had any crazy hiccups other than just normal stuff, but um, I feel pretty confident here um, in the DMV area by using FSD. It, it can handle, um, it can handle 85% of roads here and that 15% of roads it probably could handle I just wouldn't use it um, yeah and the fact that it keeps getting more capable you know it can eventually take on that 15% as well take a look at these graphics to begin with I mean just the way it's able to sense all of its surroundings see what the cars in front of me are doing how they're making turns um, and just know like what parts of the road are meant for like this lane to go left and this one to go straight like it really writes the trajectory really well all right and here we go
go. We got some pedestrians crossing in front of us. FSD sees them, sees that they cleared and proceeds. Really good job there. All in all, um, testing it out here in this area is really fun because it works. Um, and you will be slightly impressed, you know. If you have a Tesla, I, I recommend subscribing to it and uh, see it for yourself. Test it out on your daily commute and uh, you will be really impressed to see what it's capable of. And that way you can really tell um, if that's something that, you know, is for you or not. Um, take a look at this Rivian. I'm a big fan of these Rivian trucks. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a company I, you know, I hope to see around in the next 10, 15 years. And uh, I think what it does is it actually makes Tesla better. And, you know, having no competition is not good because then you just kind of set the bar. When you have competition, I think it really pushes everyone to make a better product. All right, here we go with the left turn. Nice job indicating merging to get into the left lane. And uh, this is an official left turn lane. Let's see how it does making this left turn coming up here. All in all, um, really just smooth job about getting into this lane. Uh, very seamless, very natural, human-like. It's hard to tell you know, if that was me driving or if that was the car, but definitely is the car. All right, so here we go. We got our green light. We're making a left turn. Let's see nice job staying in the lane even with cars making the left in front of us it's still able to like stay within the lane it's that computer vision all right here we go we're gonna narrow it down to one lane over here really nice neighborhoods back in this area really good job slowing down for this car and then immediately speeding up as soon as it clears and uh, all in all, this this car has been driving amazing by itself, and uh, it's just really incredible to sit in the driver's seat and watch it do this, and and just handle itself with uh, great confidence and poise. I have to say, it's it's uh, it's doing a really good job here in the suburban neighborhoods, on the highways, um, in busy business areas. It, it does really well. It checks all the boxes. Ever since we got version 11, it handles all the roads the same. Uh, FSD on the highway now, and it just, it's gotten so good. Um, there are randomly as takeovers. And if you're doing a good job with paying attention, notice how I didn't get one little scream at me with the red hand saying to look at the screen. Not one time that happened, so... You know, people that are complaining about this new update and how it's like impossible to use FSD, I beg to differ. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and that's not holding your phone and paying attention, then voila, the car drives itself without any nags. Once in a while, you get the steering wheel hands, you know, like that, but nothing serious. So, yeah. Um, I think it did improve. It may be a little bit less, but then it, it really comes down to your behavior at the end of the day and the way you're looking around and moving your hands and whatnot. The key is just to be um, completely practical and just look ahead and, you know, stay still and relax and just be focused. Keep that human element that the computer will never have into play so just don't feel like you, you know you're just here to sleep while the car drives itself well you can't do that anyways now i do wonder how it works in some of the cars without cabin cameras i know it still gives you the nags and whatnot but i don't know how it knows like when you're like not looking so maybe someone drop a comment below and let me know all in all, really good job with this drive here. FSD really did its thing. Um, no takeovers whatsoever. It got me all the way through Arlington. I'm, I'm here in Falls Church now. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Look how it stopped for this car. 
waited for it to clear and then made its way very nice as a safety aspect fsd and autopilot is super helpful i mean just imagine adding eight eyes to your tube and giving you like the safest drive possible yeah and with that being said hopefully you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you did subscribe to the channel for more thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day